Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. I hope that you are all well. I wanted to get a video out this week to share one of my book adventures with you. I was able to stop in at a bookstore that is dangerously close to where I live. So I thought I would tell you about that adventure and share the books that I picked up. And I will also share a virtual event that you can check out. And I have an announcement about the Mondays with Margaret series. Um, so if you're following that along, stay tuned to the end. And also a group read along that will be happening soon. So first, let's start with a bookshop adventure. I have a few bookshops in Calgary on my list uh, to still check out and I was able to pop into Fair's Fair Books, which is a gently used bookshop in the Inglewood neighborhood, um, which is only about a kilometer away from where I live. So when I went in, I was pleasantly surprised that it is very well organized and very well curated. They have tons of books, but they also have a bazillion DVDs and magazines, and I was impressed by their Canadian selection. They had a huge selection and they had a huge selection of Margaret Atwood, which I don't usually see. Um, so needless to say, I didn't get far past the Canadian section once I got there, but they had every genre and various topics to look through. Um, I probably could have been there forever, but I had to stop grabbing books and then remind myself um, that it was okay. I was able to, you know, come back to this bookstore at some time and, and get books again. So all of the books that I picked up are on my TBR, so I felt good about that. Um, there wasn't any spontaneous buys, uh, you know, of books that, you know, looked pretty or <laughs> books that I had never heard of. Um, so the first book that I picked up has been on my TBR for quite some time and it is a chunky, um, so it was great to be able to get it used, and that's Duck's Newberry Port by Lucy Ellman. And I've heard a lot of different perspectives um, about this book, and it's just very intriguing to me, so now that I actually own a copy, that puts it higher up um, the reading list for me. And then all of the other books that I picked up from um, the store were from the Canadian section, I grabbed Fifth Business by Robertson Davies, mostly because it's this edition. Um, Penguin has put out some modern classics that look like this, and I think they're really cool. Uh, so I'm hoping to get more of them. But Robertson Davies is among Canada's most well-known authors. And unfortunately, uh, Fifth Business was a book that I had to read in high school. And I say unfortunately because it means that I had no desire to read it and um, probably despised it just based on the fact that we had to read it. So that being said, um, I couldn't tell you anything about this book and the story. So I would like to go back and read this and give it the time that it probably deserves. Um, it's also the beginning of a trilogy. So maybe I will find a new trilogy that I like too. So that's a good thing. Um, next, I picked up um, Half Spent Was the Night by Amy McKay, and I have read all of McKay's fiction, and this little novella, it's just a short little thing, is kind of like a sequel to her massive novel, The Witches of New York. Um, I've already read this since picking it up, so I will be telling you more about it um, when I do my July, August, September wrap up, which will be in a couple of weeks. Um, next is Lisa Moore's February. This has been on my list for quite some time too, and I've almost picked it up uh, several times. Um, this was the winner of Canada Reads in 2013. And as you know, I try to keep up on um, all of those books, all of the Canada Reads books. So I'll be glad to get to this when I can. The Ghost in the House by Sarah O'Leary is a newer novel that came out last year. And again, it's been on my radar for a bit and the season for a good ghost story is coming up. So this will most likely be on my reading list soon. And then the final book that I grabbed is by one of my favorite authors, This Little Light by Lori Lansons. 
Um, it's not that old either. I think it was published in 2019. And it's another one that I have, you know, seen many times and almost picked up, but then never did. So finding it in the bookshop was a very pleasant surprise. Um, I have read a couple of Laurie Lanson's other novels. Um, Rush Home Road is um, probably one of my all-time favorites. So she is an author that I want to read all of her work. Um, so it was great to be able to pick this up. So those are the books that I hauled from Fair's Fair. And I already know that um, I will be going back there. It won't take much to twist my arm. Um, I mentioned a book event that I'd like to share with you. Um, Word on the Street uh, in Toronto has had several events over the last number of days. Um, all of them virtual, I shouldn't say all of them, most of them virtual. And one of them was called How Stories Connect Us. And it was with author Richard Van Camp um, and friends. And I really enjoyed it. So I wanted to share the link um, with all of you. And I will put that link in the description box below so you can check that out. Um, as many of you already know this, um, I, I love reading Indigenous authors and stories and learning from Indigenous authors and from their stories. Um, so if that is something that appeals to you and something that you would like to do, then I really recommend um, watching this video when you have time. It's probably about an hour long, um, if I remember correctly. Um, so, and for those of you who follow the Mondays with Margaret um, series, it is now official that I will continue that series starting next week on September 27th. Um, I took time to really look at the schedule and figure out how I wanted to go forward um, with the series because I don't want to be reading uh, Margaret Atwood into 2022 uh, unless she publishes something new, which would be fantastic. Um, I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't putting too much on my plate as well. So next week I will have an updated schedule um, so that we can still end the series this year without it being too overwhelming. At least that's the plan. Um, so there will be some weeks when I do two episodes to make up for some lost time and to keep us on this uh, new track. And then lastly, I also wanted to mention again that I will be hosting a group read um, for Hilary Mantel's Thomas Cromwell trilogy. And we will be starting this in a couple of weeks uh, with the book one, which is Wolf Hall. And we will be taking our time to read and discuss this. And if you have already told me that you are interested in reading along with us, then you should have um, already received an email from me in the last day or two with some information. And if you haven't received that email and you think that you should have, or you were expecting it, um, or if you would like me to add you to the group, I'd be happy to do that. Um, please just send me an email. Um, all of my contact information is in the description box below and we will get everyone on the same page. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading this with other people. Um, the books might not look too menacing, but I have heard that they can be um, more of a challenge, more of a difficult read. And this book alone is just over 600 pages. So I think that it'll be a good experience to be able to talk about it and support each other um, within the group. Um, so please let me know if, uh, if you want to be part of that group. Let me know too if you've read any of the books that I picked up or let me know if you have been attending any book events, either virtually or in real life. Um, I would love to hear all about it and chat in the comments. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.